Welcome to Northwell's video on how to use our online time and attendance system, My Time Navigator. This video will cover how to approve team members' time off requests in My Time Navigator, as well as how to build locations, complete labor level transfers, and how to use schedule groups. To access the application, use the Google Chrome shortcut located on your desktop that looks like the one pictured here. If you do not have that icon, please contact the help desk and they will place it there for you. Then, log into the application using your universal ID and password. Let's get started by going to the scheduling workspace. To view your employee's time off requests, select requests from the related items pane. In the request genie, open the dropdown to choose which group of team members you would like to approve time for. All team members within the selected time period who have submitted time off requests will show below. You can change the time period to view additional submitted requests as necessary. For a more specific time period, you can use the Range of Dates button to choose a specific start date and end date in which requests have been submitted for. When evaluating the days your team members have requested off, you can see the date the request was submitted, the team member that has submitted the request, the start and end date of the request. Note that if the date is the same, that indicates a single day off was requested, the status of the request, such as submitted or approved, the pay code the team member would like to use, as well as the seniority date of the team member, if this is important for deciding who receives days off first. Take note that you can sort on the header bar by clicking on the header you want to reorganize the chart by. For example, this can help you figure out who may have submitted a request first, as well as who is more senior in a department. If you would like to view more than just submitted requests, click the Submitted dropdown. You can choose any other status of request. A common choice is to select both approved and submitted. You can now more easily see when approving requests if you already have approved team members time off on a specific day, and if you should approve or refuse any other pending requests. To approve or refuse a request, select your team member. Then choose approve or refuse. Select either approve or refuse again. The team member will then receive an automatic email confirmation of whether you chose to approve or refuse the request. The pay code selected will automatically be entered into the employee's schedule for payment. Now we're going to show you how to create a location and view daily coverage. A location will help you target a specific group of employees to view. In the schedule planner, open the show field and click select locations. If there is anything in the selected portion of this screen, First, select Clear All. Otherwise, select the business unit the location you are looking for sits under. In our example, we are using LIJ. Select the corresponding division, service line, department, and job. Then click the arrow in the center of the screen to move over and finalize the selection. You'll now see your confirmed selection is in the selected square. To save this location so it is always available for you to use, select Save As, then enter the name you would like to save this location as and click Save. You will now be able to select the location from your show dropdown in the upper right. Now that you have a location created, you can view the location's daily coverage numbers. To do this, drag the multiple dash line on the bottom of the screen up. Open the span dropdown, then choose what span of time you would like to view coverage for. In this example, we use 12 hours. This will show us our coverage for both the day shift and night shift team members within the location you have selected. A green box tells us we need to find additional staff to work. In our example, we need five nurses to work and we currently have zero scheduled. A red box denotes that we are overstaffed for the shift. The Quick Actions toolbar has some neat features to help you with scheduling related tasks. You can use the Quick Actions to easily complete shift transfers, Insert shift templates, quickly copy, paste, and delete shifts, as well as swap shifts between team members. Please review the guide in the description below to assist you with the Quick Actions toolbar. The staffing assistant can be used to help you fill open shifts that you need to cover within a location. It can help you locate available team members and even send custom text messaging to them, requesting them to cover a specific open shift. For more details on the staffing assistant, check out our video in the description below. To transfer a team member's time to a different area, you will use an organizational map transfer. Simply double-click on a team member's shift on the Schedule Planner page, 
Click the drop down arrow in the transfer column, then hit search. Select the appropriate business unit and corresponding division, service line, department, and job by scrolling down and opening the plus icons similar to our location creation guide earlier in this video, and then select apply. The transfer will now appear in the job transfer column. If this is an overtime shift, you will need to select the appropriate work rule and overtime reason code. Please reference the work rule job aid in the description below for additional information. When you are done, click apply. An X will now appear next to the shift to let you know that this shift contains a transfer. Make sure to save. As a manager, you can place your team members in schedule groups. It's simple. Select the view button on the actions bar, then select by schedule group. You can see which groups your team members sit in on the left side of the screen. You can expand or collapse these with the plus or minus sign next to the group name. To add a team member to a group, first right-click on their name and select Add to Group. You can search for Schedule Group, select the one that's appropriate, and add the date you want them to begin showing in the group. Select Apply, and you will see the team member is now in the group. Make sure to save and you are all set. They will be removed from the ungrouped grouping at the start of the next schedule period. To remove someone from a group, right-click on the employee's name and then select Remove from Group. Select the schedule group and the date you'd like to remove them as of. Note that this date must not be in a signed off pay period. Then select Apply. Make sure to save and they will be removed from the schedule group. That wraps up our guide to requests for time off and advanced scheduling for My Time Navigator. Take a look at the description below to find links to more videos and resources. We hope you enjoy your time using My Time Navigator. If you need further assistance, contact us at mytime at northwell.edu.